Jay? Prince should have just stuck to his own business instead of getting tangled up in the Drake and Kendrick Lamar drama. For years, he held down the streets of Houston with a reputation that few dared to challenge. But the moment he waded into this mess, everything started falling apart. Now, people who've been watching him from the shadows are coming forward, spilling secrets that paint a darker picture of his influence. They're accusing him of being more than just a street boss, claiming he's been pulling strings for Hollywood elites, with some even suggesting he's been involved in silencing rappers on behalf of powerful figures. And Schoolboy Q isn't just throwing out accusations, he's bringing receipts. If you haven't been following the drama, now's the time to catch up because it's getting real. Earlier this month, Schoolboy Q rolled into Houston, not just to perform, but to make a statement. He confronted J. Prince Jr. head on, calling out the whole checking in routine that J. Prince demands from rappers visiting the city. To Schoolboy Q, it's an outdated practice that's lost its place in today's world. And honestly, he's not wrong. But this isn't just about extortion. According to Schoolboy Q, this so-called protection scheme might have even cost lives. This hustle isn't new. It goes back centuries, tracing its roots to 18th century Italy when the mafia perfected the art of pay up or else. When they brought their tactics to the US, cities like Chicago, New York, and Philly fell under their control and it wasn't long before American street gangs adapted the same playbook. Over time, extortion became part of the fabric of hip-hop culture. Even the biggest names in the game haven't been able to escape it. In 2011, shocking FBI files revealed that the Jewish Defense League had been extorting Tupac and other rap legends like Easy e making death threats and then offering protection for a price. It was a twisted insurance scheme where the stakes were life or death. The rules of the game haven't changed much. Street gangs still expect rappers to check in when they visit certain cities. The idea is to ensure their safety, but the cost can be more than just money. It could be your life. High profile incidents abound. Kanye West had a close call in Philly where he was quietly surrounded by some shady figures while grabbing a meal. The tension didn't ease until Beanie Siegel stepped in, letting everyone know that Kanye was under his protection. In Detroit, the rules are even stricter, enforced by a man named Trick Trick, who created the no-fly zone. If rappers want to perform in Detroit, they need to show respect and pay their dues, or they're not welcome. Rick Ross found this out the hard way when he tried to perform in Detroit without following protocol. His show was canceled and he couldn't even get into the venue the message was clear. In Detroit, you either play by the rules or you don't play at all. DeBaby faced a similar situation in East Atlanta, but he handled it differently. When a local gang showed up during a music video shoot, DeBaby stood his ground, refusing to check in or back down. It was a tense moment, but DeBaby walked away with his head held high, proving that he wasn't someone to be messed with. Both Ross and DeBaby faced off against local power players, but their approaches were worlds apart. Ross tried to play it cool from a distance, while DeBaby confronted the issue directly. These incidents highlight a harsh reality. In the world of hip-hop, respect isn't something you're given. You have to earn it, sometimes by standing up for yourself, and other times by navigating the situation smartly. As for Jay Prince, he's been protecting Drake's reputation and providing street cred for years. But lately, his name has been dragged through the mud for all the wrong reasons. When NBA Young Boy's house got robbed in Houston, Jay Prince publicly offered to return the stolen items, a move many saw as a power play. But Young Boy wasn't impressed. He took to Instagram Live to tell Jay Prince exactly how he felt about the public gesture, making it clear that he didn't need or want Jay Prince's help. The tragic death of Migos's takeoff in Houston while allegedly under the protection of Jay Prince's son, Jazz Prince, has only added fuel to the fire. Rumors are swirling that Kendrick Lamar might have taken a subtle shot at the Prince family in his track, Euphoria, warning Jay Prince to stay out of his feud with Drake. But while the rumors fly, the facts remain elusive. Schoolboy Q, who's been part of Kendrick's TDE crew, isn't here for the checking in routine. He's made it clear that he's not interested in playing these street games anymore. Schoolboy Q has moved on, 
And maybe it's time the rest of the industry did too. Schoolboy Q, who's seen it all, isn't interested in the games that have long ruled the streets. He's made it clear that he's outgrown the street politics, still gripping much of the hip-hop world. And it's a stance that's got everyone talking. As the old ways begin to crumble, the industry finds itself at a turning point. Is this the start of a new chapter where respect is earned through talent and integrity rather than power plays and intimidation? Or will the cycle of extortion and violence continue to define the culture? One thing is certain, this drama is far from over. The lines are being drawn, and those who can't adapt may soon find themselves left behind. So, where do you stand? Is the hip-hop world ready for this change? Or are we destined to repeat the past? Drop your thoughts in the comments and make sure you're keeping up with the latest, because the next chapter in the saga promises to be even more explosive. Stay tuned, because the story isn't just heating up, it's about to reach a boiling point. So where does this leave Jay Prince? The old ways are being questioned, and those who cling to them might find themselves left behind. The hip-hop world is changing, and those who can't adapt might just get lost in the shuffle. What's your take on all this? The saga is far from over, and your thoughts might just be the next chapter in this ongoing drama.